So I'd like to show you a practice that we call 4-8 relaxation breath. And the four relates to your inhale and the eight relates to your exhale. And we do this in bed. It's a practice to put you to sleep. And the idea is to emphasize diaphragmatic breathing. Your diaphragm is a skeletal muscle, just like your biceps, but it's used for breathing. It's a very unique muscle. It's right underneath your rib cage here. And it's shaped kind of like a jellyfish. And it contracts down and the breath comes in and it relaxes up and the breath goes out. And what happens is when we're stressed, instead of using this breathing muscle, we end up using our what are called accessory muscles or so intercostal muscles in our chest and our shoulders. And you've seen people breathe like this, right? You breathe high up into your chest and this sort of backwards breathing, it can exacerbate a stress situation. So when we're feeling stressed, if we breathe as if we weren't stressed, it can reverse the process and help us to cool down. When we breathe in this pattern, inhale for four and exhale for eight, because our breath is really slow and because we spend more time on the exhale, it really promotes what's called a parasympathetic nervous system response. It's a rest and digest response. So again, if you're in a fight or flight mode where you're wired but tired, maybe you're feeling anxious at night, maybe another episode of Friends is coming on and you want to turn it off, but you just can't figure out a way to fall asleep, this is a really simple practice you can use. And so we'll do this with a book and we'll place the book on your abdomen. And we do this so that you can feel the book rising and falling. Of course, we don't actually breathe into our abs, we breathe into our lungs, but when we exaggerate by moving our belly, it helps us to exaggerate that diaphragmatic breath. So it's a little cheat. It's kind of like if I said, spread your toes, it helps if you spread your fingers. The same idea, when we move our belly, obviously it doesn't directly affect our, our diaphragm, but it's a trick to get us to use our diaphragm more. So if you could lie down on your back, and I'll hand you this book. If you could just place this book right on top of your abdomen, then rest your hands at your sides. You can face your palms up and close your eyes. Great. Now here, the idea is with your eyes closed and your body relaxed, let's imagine you're lying in bed. This is the time we use this practice most often. When you inhale, well, inhale and exhale, just through our nose. But when you inhale, try to have that book rise as you inhale one, two, three, four, pause. Now the book falls, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great, inhale, belly rise, one, two, three, four. Exhale, belly falls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, belly rise, one, two, three, four. Exhale, belly falls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, belly rise, one, two, three, four. Exhale, belly falls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time, inhale, belly rise, one, two, three, four. Exhale, belly falls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, relax, just stay right where you are and breathe naturally. So again, the book is not necessary, but it's often helpful to get that feeling, that exaggerated diaphragmatic breath. That diaphragm is also, there, there's a very important nerve called your vagus nerve, which goes right by your diaphragm. And so when you breathe that way, it massages that vagus nerve. These three things combined, slow breath, long exhale, emphasis on the diaphragmatic breathing. These three things combined really help to relax the body and they're so, so helpful for going to sleep. So here's your assignment. Before bed at night, do 10 rounds of four, eight breathing, just like this, or until you fall asleep.